Hello everyone, this is from Milwaukee to Nashville. I'm Daniel Goodwell, and over there is John Lewandowski. Uh, our show is brought to you by the wonderful folks at Hockey Hockey 202 West Howard Avenue, Milwaukee, Wisconsin. You can call them at 414-800-7585 or visit their website at HockeyLockerMilwaukee.com. They are located right across the street from Wilson Park. Today we had a double. Um, the Preds took on the San Jose Sharks and the Admirals took on the Colorado Eagles. Uh, we're going to start with the Admirals game. All right. Shots on goal in the first period. Milwaukee outshoots Colorado 13 to 9. In the second period, Milwaukee outshoots Colorado 18 to 7. In the third period, Milwaukee outshoots Colorado 10 to 4. And total Milwaukee outshoots Colorado 41 to 20. On the power play, Milwaukee goes 0 for 4 with 14 minutes, 3 infractions, while Colorado goes 1 for 1 with 10 minutes, 5 infractions. Scoring in the first period for Colorado is Frederick Olofsson, scoring his first of the year unassisted. And that was at the 6-12 mark. Then at the 17-34 mark for Colorado, Riley Tufty scores his 19th of the season on the power play unassisted. Then in the second period at the 8 Eight minute mark. Colorado scores with a goal from Sam Malinsky, his fifth of the year, assisted by John Luke Foundy or Foudy, his sixth, and Frederick Olofsson, his fourth. Foodie. Foodie. Okay. It's related. Okay. Uh, then scoring in the second at the 1931 mark was Phil Tomasino on a breakaway with his sixth of the season with an assist from Cal O'Reilly. His 19th, that is his 800th career point. Uh, yep. with, also, also, blah, with also an assist from Jake Livingstone. Then in the third, Frederick Olsen scores his second with an assist from Tanner Kiro, his 20th, and Jack Akon, his 26th. Okay, it was uh, just a regular unsportsmanlike, not abuse of an official, like per the usual for LaRue in the third at the 1734 mark. Yeah, I see that. The Admirals are now, since going on their run, are two, nine, and two. Your three stars of the game, third star was Sam Belinsky. He scored a goal. Uh, second star of the game was Trent Miner, stopping 40 of 41. First star of the game was Frederick Olison with two goals and an assist. In net for the Admirals was Troy Grossnick making her first back to back start in months. Um, <laughs> um, so, yeah, not a good showing for the Admirals. They need to show up better tomorrow. Yeah, Grosnick is also now 0-2-1 in his career against Colorado. Yeah, it might be time to start Yarrow. Yeah, I would expect that tomorrow after tonight. In the words of the Admirals video posted earlier, are you kidding me? Come on, guys. Totally quoting their post. All righty. The um, Preds have been on quite the tear since we ended ours. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um. So, I mean, I, I, I get it, but it, it just doesn't help. So, uh, today the National Predators took on the San Jose Sharks. All right. Shots on goal in the first period for Nashville, 17, San Jose, 8. And shots on goal and then the second for Nashville was nine, San Jose nine. In the third, Nashville outshoots San Jose 14 to three. And in total, Nashville outshoots San Jose 40 to 20. Um, Nashville was way better than San Jose in the faceoff circle at 66.7% to San Jose's 33.3%. On the power play, San Jose goes 0 for 1 with 4 penalty minutes. Nashville goes 0 for 2 with 2 penalty minutes. San Jose had 26 hits to Nashville's 16. Nashville had 21 block shots to San Jose's 12. 
Uh, Nashville had 10 giveaways to their five, and Nashville had six takeaways to their three. Scoring, what was that? I was going to say, in their statistical line, they beat them where it mattered. Yeah, for sure. All right, scoring in the first period for Nashville at the 11-18 mark was Roman Yossi scoring his 18th of the season, assisted by McDonough, his 23rd, and Forsberg, his 37th. Then at the 17-18 mark for San Jose, Mikhail Granlin scores his 10th of the season, assisted by Costin, his 4th, and Ferraro, his 16th. Then in the second period at the 546 mark uh, for San Jose was Mario Ferraro, scoring his second of the season, assisted by Bordalo, his second, and Bailey, his eighth. At the 937 mark, Nashville gets on the board with a goal from Jason Zucker, his 11th of the season, assisted by Sissons, his 19th, and McDonough, his 24th. Then at the 1526 mark, Michael McCarron scores his 10th of the season, assisted by Shearwood, his 11th, and Yossi, his 51st. Then at the 1750 mark, Nashville scores again with a goal from Luke Evangelista, his 15th of the season, assisted by Yossi, his 52nd, and Forsberg, his 38th. And that was a beautiful backhand shot, by the way. Yeah. Um, McCarron was working hard on that goal, by the way, the McCarron's goal. He was battling to get to the front of the net. Yeah. <laughs> Speaking of battling in the third period, uh, Kiefer Sherwood forces a turnover and gets the assist to Michael McCarron, his 11th at the 10, uh, 10.35 mark. That puts the Preds up 5-2. to two. Then Mark Jankowski scores on a beautiful de deflection. Uh, his fourth with an assist from Barry, his 12th, and Bolivia, his 11th. Uh, Jankowski now has nine points in 19 games with the Preds. Nice. Um, Phil Forsberg then gets on the board literally 30 seconds later. 14, 43, 30 seconds. For the 36th time this season, he is on pace to get that 40 mark, hopefully. Um, with an assist from Nyquist, his 42nd, and McDonough, his 25th. Then Thomas, Tommy Novak, not Thomas Novak, he don't go by Thomas no more. <laughs> Tommy Novak scores his 15th with an assist from Kiefer Sherwood, his 13th, and Jankowski, his 6th. That was on the backhand between the legs, past the goalie. Just working hard all the way through. Um, three stars of the game. Third star of the game was Phil Forsberg with two assists and a goal. Um, Roman Yossi was second star of the game with two assists and a goal. And Michael McCarron with two goals was the first star. And now for the Shadows a Sharks is trying to know how to say his name. Magnus Corona. He has played nine games, has one win with a 4.71 goals against average. Is that counting today's? Yup. This is the most goals he's given up uh, since March 14th. So five days? Yeah. And he gave up five on 30 shots. Um, it looks like they have a tendency of leaving him in. Yeah. Um, but stopping 32 of 40 with a point uh eighty percent save percentage in net for the Preds was UC Saros. He stopped 18 of 20 with a 90% save percentage. The Preds match their franchise record of 15 game point streak. Um, big game on Thursday against Florida. Uh, that is a huge game. Um, as well as the Admirals are back in it again tomorrow against Colorado again. Um, uh,
Nashville is up to 84 points with uh, uh, 69 games played. Uh, Vegas has two games in hand, and from the looks of it, um, we'll see what happens there. But the Avalanche have been on a bit of a cooker with a seven-game win streak. Winnipeg with a three-game win streak in the division, and Dallas with one. Uh, Florida has dropped two straight. Um, they're looking for a bit of revenge. Um, they will be playing their 69th game on Tuesday unless they play tomorrow. It is very odd to see a back-to-back -back on a weekday, but it's not the first time I've been seen it. Um, nope, they play ah, ESPN Hulu. So I can't watch from a distance. Uh, their top guys to watch are Sam Reinhart, Matthew Kachuk, and Sergei Bravovsky. I would imagine it'll be Bravovsky versus Soros. That would be my assumption. Um. With how good Saros has been playing lately, I I wouldn't be surprised to see that. And then the Preds play again on Saturday. So, um, the Admirals are back home on Saturday as well. Um, against Henderson, um, Nate Smith performing after the game. Come on out and check it out. Should be a good show. Should be a good game. Hopefully, we can get some guys healthy. All right. To the extent of the Admirals, all I'm going to say regarding their play, and then I'm going to talk a bit about the Preds play. Regarding their play, it looks like they had a ton of effort. Just nothing would go in. Right. Yeah. And some nights you have nights like that. What you do is you sit there tonight and you go, tomorrow, we're going to put up four to one against them. That's what I would say. Tomorrow, it's time for a taste of their own medicine. That's what I would be looking at in their locker room. Um, as far as the friends, um, keep doing what you're doing. Um, keep battling. Keep winning the small battles. Face-offs, keep winning those. Keep blocking shots. Keep hit. Keep, you know, don't get caught in penalties. Don't get caught getting frustrated. Don't make miss some bad mistakes. Just go from there. That would be be my my thing to the friends. So. To the admirals who are slumping a little bit, I would say, "Hey, go tomorrow's another day. Let's go get our let's a new time not not time to set a new streak. Let's get away from this one. We got to build on something. We peppered the net. We know we can get to them. Let's do it again tomorrow. Let's put another forty shots up on them tomorrow and see how much energy they got then." Yeah. Um, most likely, I would imagine that it'll be Yarrow and Eustace and Noonan tomorrow. Most likely. Or is it Noonan in, in Colorado? I don't remember. That is what I should look at with Krostic starting. I wouldn't be surprised to see Troy try to get a measure of revenge because he didn't face a whole lot of work. Right. Um... Uh, Ivan Prostov or Arvin Holm. They do have three goalies on their roster. Um, we'll see what happens there.
Also, um, Gunnar Wolf Fontaine and Alex Alex Alexander Campbell both uh, have completed their senior years of college hockey. Um, it'll be interesting to see what happens over the next week or so. Yeah. Two of the Preds prospects that I would definitely be keeping an eye on at the current moment. If they need forwards, this is where they're going to have to go. Yeah. So we'll see what happens there as well. Um. Also wanted to give a quick congratulations to um what was it the Milwaukee Wave for uh clinching a playoff spot? I have not been on camera since they did that. Congratulations to another tenant in our building. Um, as well as uh we will be um what is that the last show of the year on the 21st. Um, I will not be available. I'm letting everyone here know because unfortunately I have to pull double duty. And I don't know how my availability will be given whatever happens. Um, I will be needed at another place. Yes, you could. I'm messing with the string from my shorts. <laughs> Bored here. <laughs> um, I'm a little frustrated. Um, I know that a lot of Admirals fans are a little frustrated with me um, just from what they've seen. Um, you got to keep your mental. Got to keep your calm. Can't take dumb penalties. Can't take misconducts. Can't take like, things like that. I know that LaRue's a good player. He just has to. Um, and, and he the has words, to learn to control his temper a little bit. I was about to say, in the words of Beauty of the Beast, you must control your temper. <laughs> Um, and that's at that this point. You just need to get one to go in. Then you need two to go in. You know, build on it. Build on it. Get a good offensive zone. Then try to get one to go in. Then if that doesn't work, try something else. And if you get a good, if you get good momentum, keep going. Yeah. Um, so it'll be interesting to see. Um, uh, I will not be here on... There's a small chance I'm not here Thursday. Small. Um, as I have a wedding rehearsal to go to. Yay. <laughs> um, so, oh, at, well, I should say that too. Also, congratulations to my cousin and my well, future cousin-in-law. <laughs> Very close family. Um. John's met my cousin quite a few times. <laughs> so, um, on that other note, um, uh, I'm trying to go to the rumor mill for contract signings. Former Admiral Jonas Lutnin moves to Leeskind IF of the Finnish League. Oh, there's Petter Granberg. He's moving to Vaco Lakers of the Finnish League as well. Or is that the Swedish League? Can't remember. Uh... Do they have the flag? Is it white and blue or yellow and blue? Well, it has the... Uh, 
that's the Swedish league. That'd be yellow and blue. Yep. Uh, so there's a lot going on. There's going to be a lot of movement. Prospects are going to be signing because they're juniors and college and everything's wrapping up right now. KHL's almost done. I think they're in their semifinals. Uh, the Champion League, they're in their semifinals. So we'll see what happens. But for 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 us, we, we really need guys like Anton Olison, a defenseman prospect who is signed under contract. Um, he was not called to the, to us this year. Um, he was loaned out there. Um, I, that would be one thing. I would definitely be making that phone call um, sometime soon if if the injuries keep piling up. Um, oh, and final notice. Um, if you leave negative comments on our profile. It's just a statement from me. This had nothing to do with whatever side he's on. John, this is mm -hmm. my statement. I will remove you and block you. No swearing. If I can't swear on camera, you can't swear in the comments. So if y'all start swearing in the comments, I'm going to start swearing on the show. Just a fair warning. If y'all keep swearing in the comments, I'm going to start swearing on the show. Just letting you know. That's that that's part of that whole, um, you want us to be better, but you don't really act that way. And to the person, you know who you are. I normally don't call out our fans, but there's a certain line of uh, competitive respect we must have. Um... And remember that we are classy, and we're above that. So, I thank you all for watching, and hopefully understanding. Have a great, great week.